Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make cheeky bikini bottoms that look like this. The back and the front. These bottoms are seamless and they could be reversible. These ones aren't. But there's only one tiny, tiny, tiny little seam in the back here. So it's virtually unnoticeable and it's not uncomfortable. I did this pattern off of a um, Frankie's Bikinis bikini bottom that I really liked and in the Frankie's one they actually have elastic in it like around the waist here and then up, like on the front here. I chose to forego the elastic so it wouldn't take longer or anything and just because I'm lazy. But if you want to have the same exact fit as the Frankie's then definitely do the elastic where I just pointed out. So yes, if you want to learn how to make these, stay tuned. So I made this pattern by tracing some bikini bottoms. Like I said, there were the Frankie's Bikinis bottoms. So I just kind of pushed the pattern around and traced that um, big piece there. And as you can see on the right that I'm picking up now, I have a back piece. Now, on the Frankie's bottoms, there's a seam right down the booty crack. And this is kind of what helps make them seamless. And it's actually really comfortable. So the seam is right down the middle, that's my piece there. On the sides, seam, and then on the sides there, boom. There's no seam there, that is seamless. So in order to do that, you have to have one piece of fabric, so that's what that looks like. So, now cutting the two back pieces. And I want to point out that there is slight curve on each of the edges and that helps make the shape. So cut two of these pieces and that will be the back of your bikini bottoms. So now if you fold it up, you can see how that's going to look. There's the seamless edges and then there's the seam down the middle that we will sew later on. So now moving on to the front piece, you're going to cut two front pieces. So when I'm cutting, by the way, I usually use about a quarter inch seam allowance, but I'm not too particular with it. Um, even though I should be. So yeah, cut two of these front pieces. So now we have all of our pieces, two fronts and two backs. Next we're going to take a look at where we will be sewing the seams. So on the front piece, we'll start by sewing the two sides right there. Sew those edges together with your serger or zigzag stitch, whatever you have available. And then the back pieces, you're going to fold them out. Then get that center seam right there and just sew down the middle. Right sides together. Here I'm using my Baby Walk Evolution Serger. It was an awesome investment and it'll make your life a lot easier, especially when doing swimmer. Now sewing the center seam on the back pieces. And that's what you get. So now flip it so you have your matching sides together, seam on the outside, and just sew up that other curve there. And here we are. So I left a tiny little hole in there and that's what's going to help us ultimately make this whole thing virtually seamless. 
Don't forget to leave the hole. So now we're flipping it inside out. I'm sliding it over just so you can see what the bikini bottom will look like now. So again, the sides there are seamless. So here's our front and our back pieces. All we have left to sew is the crotch and the two sides. To sew the sides, I am putting the sides right sides together. I know I just said sides a lot. And then sewing that seam right there. Boom. It's a little bit clearer when I do it on this side, but again, a little, a little bit right sides together and just make that flat. So that's what you get. As you can see on the sides now, they are attached. And from the outside, it does look like it is seamless, which is what we're going for. So now all we have to do is sew up the top there around the waistband and then touch the crotch. So to do the top, we're going to flip it almost inside out, or we're just focusing on the front piece first. So we're going to flip it and kind of tuck everything else in and make almost like a sandwich little thing and then sew that top seam together and that is just your front piece right there don't try to get anything else mixed up in it but it will be a little bit of a mess just sandwich it so now that we sewed that top seam, we'll pull it back out, and you will see that it is now seamless. And now next, we are going to do the same thing with the back. So we'll flip it over and pull it inside out. This time we're just focusing on the back piece. So we're just pulling out the back until it kind of looks like what it would inside out. And again, sandwich it and then sew that top seam there. Here we go. So now we're going to pull it out again and see what we have left. So now we have the crotch and we still want to make this seamless so to do this we're going to reach into our handy dandy hole and bring both the front and the back together while you're reaching in there you're essentially flipping them inside out if you get confused just remember that right sides need to be together so now you're going to pull it out and you're going to have like a little hole thing little circle so you're going to be sewing around the rim of that circle do not sew the whole thing together just the rim it's a little hard to see here but you get the hang of it after practicing you should only be sewing two layers together and it's just the rim of that little circle we made So if you did it correctly, you should be able to pull it out now and see that little hole there. See that? Just sewing all around. And you have to stretch it a lot when you're sewing it. So let's pull it back through. Boom. Seamless again. So 
text me with those three words that gets me like she always says she loves me when we're drinking don't admit it but it's true so finally we just have one hole left and just that little tiny one there and we are just going to top stitch it down And now here's the final product. As you can see, it's completely seamless except for that one little hole in the back. And that one little hole is the reason why we could make it seamless. So these are what they look like on. They're super comfy, no elastic, no fuss, they're nice and tight but not suffocating or anything. A little closer, you can see that seam down the middle, which I really like for my cheeky bottoms. And I just wanted to throw this in. I got this bikini, and it is all crochet, but it's super comfortable and super flattering. It's from Lost Atlantis, and you can actually find it on my website. Just wanted to throw it in because I'm just obsessed with it. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and come back to my channel. If you have any questions or you want to see anything more specific with the process, just let me know. I'm happy to make more videos um, with whatever your request may be.